Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my name is Felix. I'm a YouTube content creator from Indonesia. Guys, sorry for the late upload. Uh, for the past two weeks, I haven't uploaded anything, rarely everything. Um, as usual, I'm busy with my stuff, but I can't guarantee what's coming next. But I'll try to start regularly uploading things again just to interact with you guys more because I miss you guys a lot in your comments, reading your comments every week in Ultraman. So we are back on Ultraman Trigger. I haven't watched this episode and I hold myself just to, I don't know, upload it today. Even though it's kind of late, it's already past one day, but it's alright. Um, just watch it if you want to watch it and uh, drop some comments below uh, and start a discussion once again about Ultraman Trigger. So today I'll catch up on Ultraman Trigger New Generation TV episode 19. What's makes a savior so without further ado let's go check it out because last week's episode and the the two last week episode it's getting really intense better and crazy and the last episode we have this um mind mind monster that attracts the mind attracts the captain attracts the whole uh, Ignis uh, tracks the whole team that getting a reward and everything so this will be amazing to see it's falling up into this episode so without further ado let's just go check it out to this current episode let's go let's check let's react okay let's go three two one go oh everyone being excited for the party was an illusion mm. It's all an illusion. <laughs> Apartment for aliens. Not sure. Hmm. Physical results. Hmm. They all. Sh Seen an illusion. Hmm. Oh. An identified cosmic rays. Oh. That's why. Hmm, affecting a human's brain. Oh, okay. Morpheus Ray. Physic attack. By the way, it's it's really funny now that Agnes is now part of the crew and they don't feel like Oh, there's an enemy here, there's an Ignis, but they are just like allowed, allowing Ignis to be in the headquarter now with the gods. It's, it's a funny thing for him. <laughs> okay, let's see what will we get from here guys. It's really interesting affecting humans brain because it's uh, the, the thing that I love from Trigger is not always about physical or physical winning about how we can win a physical battle but strategies, mind and everything also that are mind their minds who become the winner. Mm. 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 Trigger. Mm. Oh, he drum is attacked. Mm. 
โอเคนัดซีโอ้โอเคคามิลาโอ้ a man Yuna sees a man Oh, a monster! What? What is that? Oh my God! It's Hugh Drum versus Camila attacking in the city. Wow! Camila and Hugh Drum are fighting. Hmm. They're both fighting. Wow! It's because of Manaka Kingo and Trigger. Hmm, Dargon now appear. Camira is affected by the Morpheus RF. We were all shown an illusion. Hmm, you're right. How incompetent Kamira is. It's it's because of that man to show the illusion what they desire. Dargon desired Yuna. Kamira desired Trigger. Hmm. Hmm. He will use the old gods. Plain. Okay, this is interesting. One monster affect even the trio giants now, huh? Let's see what will we get from here. Okay, it's typical Heisei. Hmm. Okay, he transformed trigger. Hmm. Multi type. Okay, let's see. Oh, the trio giants. The trio giants. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, Kingo is now swift on the attacks. Wow. He is cool. He can attack a Mila now. He he can fight three dark giants, man. Wow, he fights three dark giants, man. Hmm. Wait, 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 I must pause here. I must thank the animation team and how to make great, great character development for Trigger and for Kingo here. It is so cool. Looking back, even he can't fight a single goal, but he can fight, he can't fight. He can utilize his final form and now he can fight trio dark giants with a swift attacks. No need to change it to supreme modes and everything, but he can already utilize his movement his training with reboot so well in this case this is really a plot 
really really am appreciating the, the details that they're focusing on the character development for Trigger. Mm. 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 Okay, I think you know we'll find this man. Mm. Where are you? Testing those with potential. They lost themselves. Hmm. Oh, with the makings of a savior. No, okay, glitter. Okay, but now uh, I guess after King of Master Glitter, we 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 are we aren't shown uh, the other modes too much. He only utilized glitter, glitter, glitter over and over again. I I kind of miss the old modes that he used previously, prior having glitter. Okay, glitter trigger. I know that this is OP and stuff, but I just missed. But I just really missed. But I just really missed uh, him using the old modes. Hmm. I worthy. Okay, let's see. Okay, he is gone. Hmm. Mm. Okay. Now the color timers are the blinking. Okay. Is that it? Mm. Oh, okay. The plane is done. Hmm. Oh, dragon mode now. The dragon mode now. Okay, he will. They will help King go in defeating the Troidor giant. Mm. Mm, okay. 
but I'm really really appreciating this 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 development of trigger just on that note again okay let's see hmm okay hmm I'm scared of dying hmm Dugger. Okay. Let's see what is becoming on. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. What is this power? What is this power? Hmm, okay, what is this power Yuna is using? Hmm. Okay. It's transferring what energy to trigger now? Ooh. What energy is transported to trigger? Hmm. Hmm. Eunice light. Hmm. Okay, attack in Kamila and all the Tri Dark Guns. Okay, it's in the form of user. Hmm. Hmm. Kingo. Kengu is really 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 crazy about this battle. I'm just I'm just so happy to see I'm 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 just I'm just so really happy to see Kengu's development and I think uh Kengu is trying to reasoning with Kamira or something. Hmm. Okay, Kengo is back on him. Oh, I thought Kengo is back on becoming human. You have failed too. Hmm. Hmm. Of like that is not worthy of a great part of the title of savior. What is this, man? All about or talking about? Oh, what? What is this mon a Korea? Wow. <laughs> Oh, okay. Kengo is fighting again. <gasps> it's getting faster and faster, the beat. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. 
the light weight on you. Hmm. It's his light. What's light? What's light? What is the light that that this Sizuma has? This is I'm getting goosebumps. Oh my god, I'm getting goosebumps. Don't tell me this is Ultra Mantiga Spark Lens. Don't tell me this is Ultra Mantiga Spark Lens. Oh my god, okay, Tiga is here, but it's not in the form of Daigo, it's in the form of Shizuma, Kaiser. Oh my god, this is Tiga. Oh, Ultimate Tiga appearing in Ultimate Trigger. Oh my freaking god, Ultimate Tiga appearing. But it's not in Daigo. <laughs> I miss Daigo so much. Oh my god, Ultimate Tiga appearing. Tiga finally appearing in Trigger. Oh my god, oh my god, my favorite Ultraman from all those decades. Oh my god, I'm getting goosebumps. Tiga is finally appearing after 20 plus years. Ultraman Tiga appearing. Tiga is appearing with Trigger. And once again, Tiga gives the light to trigger, just like Tiga with Dinah years back. <gasps> oh my god, we're finally getting this Tiga X trigger! Oh, at the exact same way when he did it to Dinah years back on the hyper, on the battle. Tiga versus Tiga X trigger, oh my god, this is like the duo Tiga meeting up. Ooh. Oh my god, this is just so cool. Power type and Tiga with power type as well. Finally, they're utilizing the old moments, the old modes at the perfect timing with Tiga Max out. Added. Oh my god, I can't wait for anything more. Oh my god, the bombs, the exact bombs. <laughs> I never wondered a 30 minute episode will end up like this with Tiga appearing here. But I'm just wondering, oh my god, it will be even even better if Daigo is appearing here. Okay, now transforming to Sky Type. <laughs> my wish is granted, y'all. Oh my god, just said the freaking wish at the beginning and now I'm getting this the exact same moves that it's like some modes oh, oh my god the animation are lit guys the attacks the hits the animation trend oh the transitions boom 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 oh my god the colors transitions this is just so cool Tiga and Trigger is attacking Oh my god. But there is no Daigo over here. It's just the things missing. Oh my god. If Tiga can like uh, see Camilla and reason with her like what she did in Final Odyssey, it will become even more perfect. The amazing thing now is like Trigger use his uh, other mode and show Tiga the Nagaya. It will even be more spectacular. Change another modes. Okay, multi modes. Oh my god, never ever have wondered Tiga will be attacking with those same effects. Like, man, this is my freaking childhood, yes. Oh my god, the transition, the zoom in, zoom out, just loving it so much. It's becoming like more realistic than ever, and like. Oh my god, it will be even more impactful when Tiga comes in and when the tri dark giants are attacking. It's like nostalgic, nostalgic, and nostalgic. With the zip ray, oh my god, with the exact same ray. Oh 
Oh my god, this is just the exact same crazy amazing moments. Oh my god, the duo ultra did it. The duo Tiga from a duo alternate universe. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that was an awkward moment right there. Oh my god, Tiga and Trigger. Tiga and Trigger. Shizuma and Yuna appearing. Tiga is like disintegrated but now coming. Oh my god. Oh, I guess we will then able to see Daigo. We're only able to see Tiga now. Okay, Tiga is gone. But at least we got a little bit of Tiga in action. In all his modes. Multi, Power, and Sky. And I'm just so happy. Wow. <laughs> this is just... I just have a feeling I shouldn't watch this. And it's... I shouldn't watch it yesterday alone and I am totally Oh my god this is just so cool Crazy crazy cool Tiga and Trigger the duo is back in in this episode Yes <laughs> Okay Deban Deban is a Okay Oh, I think, I think, okay, this is a highlight of uh, of Z and everything. But this is just, I'm gonna read the comments. Awesome, so nostalgic, Ultimate Tiga. I honestly can't believe they brought Tiga to this episode. Man, this was great. I'm going, I'm gonna face Camila to defeat her just like I did. Smile to defeat her just like I did, right? Really cry a lot. I need and want Ultimate Tiga to appear in this chapter. Thank you, Surabaya, for bringing our back Artiga and giving us a ride of nostalgia. I can't believe he just did the power sharing like yeah, right? In the exact same moment and in the exact same mood. Tiga is hyped in this episode. Love the team up showcasing both generations' ability. This is just so cool. One of the best episodes, I never have thought that Tiga will appear in Trigger because there isn't any leaks or teaser about him coming back. This is the best crossover episode. It was better than Reboot and Trigger crossover episode. Even though I'm a Malaysian and I had a lot more better than Z and Trigger crossover episode, just my opinion though. Yeah, right. Mm, as I stated, I'm quite amazed that he can handle all three dark giants on equal strength now. He can defend himself much more than before, which is very awesome to see as small details in growth. Yeah, as I've stated as well. Oh my god, this is just so cool. Mm, the fact that even Glitter Trigger Eternity can go against the Three giant of darkness that while it may have shown that Kingo has yet to grasp the true power of the eternity core, or maybe he's just distracted by Kamira crying. But no care, no do, I don't wanna know. The thing amazing here is just the 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 self growth the development that Kingo shows as well as the trio dark giants of Freaking god, this is just so awesome. Thank you, Surabai, for bringing back Trigger. And I'm just, oh, I'm just happy that my feeling is, is on point. That I don't react this alone. But instead, I record and give it to you guys, even though it's kind of late already. So thank you, guys. I'm just so pumped up. I'm just ready for the big, big hit battle. Because as we know, new generation Ultra will end, like, probably 25th. On episode, it won't end like Dina, Tiga, and Gaia on the 15th or even Cosmos at the 16th episode. So I believe it will end probably, I think, 28 something. So after this, after the Deban episode, I think we will move to a more serious crossover with the Trio Dark Giants and also the final battles with Trigger. And after that, we'll be moving on to Absolute and with the, with the great uh, battle, the Ultra... Um, ultra um battle 
So this will be so epic and I can't wait for this to happen. So we'll be meeting next week on another set of Ultimate Triggers reaction episode. So until then, bye guys, thank you guys for watching.